Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, welcome to the God Seller 7 um, End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy. Actually, I was hearing for, I'm going to say, several days. I got it today. So join me in the King James Version Bible. I'm going to be, of course, in the book of Matthew. You need to read this whole book. This is what we're, where we're at. Uh, Matthew chapter 10. <clears throat> let's start at 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Think about that. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And I could feel the Holy Spirit covering me. You could probably see it. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. All right. That's as far as I'm going. You understand what he's saying here. The enemy is in your house. Pretty much that's it, straight up. Wait till you hear this. Now I was hearing bits and pieces of it, and there's one um, word in here um, that I got understanding on exactly what it was. So I got that um, this this morning. Um, of course, let's see, do I have the address anywhere? Or not the address, the um, date. Okay, here we go, April 17th. My children, stand firm in your faith. Do not waver. Soon you will see widespread Christian persecution. War and famine will ravage the nations. Your technology will allow the thought police to take control. That's the sentence. Many will be punished and put to death for speaking the truth, for thinking the truth. Many have heeded the warnings to prepare. You have done well. Do not be discouraged. I am with you always. Nations will fall. Kings will change. The new world or order is upon you. Keep your faith. Pray to me. I am listening. I see Christians have banded together. Remember my words. Remember these. Your enemies will be members of your own house. The plan of extermination made by the rich man is almost complete. Soon they will test their weapons on the people. Do not conform to this world. You must have faith that I am in control for, of all things. Soon you will see me in the clouds. I am coming for you. Whoa, okay. Now let's, let's review what I heard over and over. Now for two days straight I heard, um, stand firm in your faith. Stand firm, keep your faith, keep your faith. So things are going to happen here that's possibly going to have many fall away. Keep your faith. He said that over and over and over. Okay, here is the next thing. When I got this word, it was familiar, This um, these two words. The thought police. All right, I was like, hmm, I know I heard that somewhere else. The thought police. And over the top of thought police, um, I heard artificial intelligence. But it gets better. So I'm sitting there thinking... I know I know I heard thought police somewhere else. Where did I hear it? So I googled it, of course. In the book I recommend it, 1984, Thought Police. You need to look at that book. Things are happening here. Artificial intelligence will be taking over. He wouldn't have brought this bizarre phrase to me, thought police. It's like, whoa, I know I heard that somewhere. Yes, I did, in high school. I'm reading that book. I told you that. 1984. I think, is it, um, let's see, George Orwell? I think that's who wrote it. You need to look at that book. I know a lot of you guys already got it. This is really important. This is a major prophecy here. Let's look at it a little bit again. Keep your faith over and over and over. Keep your faith. Okay, I like this part of it. Soon you will see me in the clouds. I am coming for you. I know all of us want to leave. We don't belong here. This is not our home. We were not made for this world. That's why he says over and over, separate yourself. Do not conform to the world. Do not be part of the world. We don't belong here. We're just passing through. Think about that. Do a test. See if you can, um, um, how can I put it? Not use the things of the world. Do it. Like I did. Get rid of the TV. Get rid of it. Get rid of the phone. I hate the phone. I have all the apps off. I don't use the phone for anything except emergency texting. See if you could get away from all these things. It has you hooked. And I just got done telling Brother Dan before. Um, not only is the phone listening, the laptop is listening, the Kindle is listening, and the TV is listening, and it talks to me. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> Here's me. Click. 
Did I have the TV on? I heard a lady's voice. Yep, the TV is listening and talking. See if you could get away from these worldly things. The thought police. Think of that. Imagine the world we're living in when your thoughts are going to be monitored. Um, so, of course, you know me. As soon as I got that and the thought police, I realized it was 1984. Of course, Zoom, I'm at the laptop Googling thought police and Googling artificial intelligence of mind reading. Yes, it was invented. It's out there. Look it up. I put it on my pages. Um, Sister Barbara Francis, um, the Godzilla 7 Facebook page, and the King is Coming, Second Coming of Christ. It's already invented. I think Microsoft invented, invented it. Uh, maybe um, Facebook has one, and they're using it. Think of this was happening. The Thought Police. Based on your comments on there, based on your activity, and they're tracking every single thing you do and listening, they're going to determine or try to, um, how can I put this, futurize what you might do. I think there was a movie about this, actually, several years ago. If you know the movie, and you know what I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know if Tom Cruise was in it, and I don't remember the name of it, but I think it actually had to do with um, they came to get him uh, because they, they figured out, or the thought police knew he was going to do something bad. I think that's how it went. Um, several years ago, the movie was. Um, can't remember the name, but if you can, please put it under there and uh, tell me if I'm correct or not. All right, what else did I want to mention? Um, prayer. Uh, my friend Patty is still in trouble. It's your friend, too. You probably know her from the Facebook pages um, and some of the groups that we're all in. Um, Patty, please um, keep her in your prayers. Um, pray for her as much as you can. She's still struggling with spiritual, I'm going to say spiritual and physical attacks. Please pray for her. Um, my dad, or my mom and brother Dan's dad, uh, both of them in the, uh, in the nursing home. They, oh, I feel so horrible for them. Um, please keep them in your prayer. Um, his dad has the uh, Parkinson's and end-stage dementia. Um, I saw the picture of him and it made me just cry. I couldn't even look at it. And my mom is all confused um, in there with, um, she has dementia. Uh, what else does she have? Well, she's completely bedridden. Uh, she needs 24-hour daycare by nurses, uh, professional people. Um, she's all confused. She doesn't know what's going on. She has dementia. Um, she calls me. Um, and doesn't even, uh, I feel so bad, she doesn't even know what's going on. I could talk to her five minutes, um, um, for five minutes, and then the next day, she doesn't even know if she talked to me or remember what, what happened. This is terrible. Um, now someone left a message or a comment, uh, well, why can't I just bring them here with me? Well, I can't, um, because I can't take care of them. Um, they're both bedridden, they need 24-hour daycare with nurses, um, they wear diapers, um, no one to take care of them and lift them, and I know my mom needs a lift to, to help move her around. So that's practically impossible. Um, we did apply for a program for my mom, um, but she was denied for it. The doctor wouldn't even sign off for it, even to think about her going home for any reason or with anyone without professional care. care. He wouldn't sign off. Um, so please keep them in your prayers. Um, what other thing that I want to mention? Okay, now I'm seeing this um, on some of the comments here and there. <clears throat> um, people that are trying to, um, I want to say, um, get back to normal um, and get... Um, they are getting the vaccinations. I'm, I'm not going to go into the story about the bees or anything else. This is your personal decision. You have to pray about what to do here. Don't listen to other people. Take it to the Lord. Pray about it. Read up and research on everything. I know what I'm doing. I prayed about it, but I can't make your decision. People ask me about it, and I, I don't want to force my opinion on anybody with the V or what, and, and the other thing. Um, that I was, when I was getting this prophecy, the Lord had me looking at, and I put it on the Facebook pages. He was having me look at the, the Nazi brainwashing, look at this stuff. He had me looking at that, um, what else, uh, the propaganda, um, all the misinformation, what else was he having me look at? He had me look at several things um, about um, how they brainwash you and how people just follow along like sheep to the slaughter. Don't be a sheep going to the slaughter because... He tells you in here, straight up, let's see if I could get it again. Come on back. He tells you straight up here, and I have this in another prophecy. The plan of extermination made by the rich men is almost complete. Think about it. Who are the rich men making the plan? Soon they will test their weapons on the people. Think. Are they testing them now on us? Are they testing them? Are you voluntarily... Um, being involved in, in their plan to exterminate, think about it. This is really serious and important. 
you need to think about these things and take it to the Lord and pray about it. The most important thing right now for you to be um, to be on your mind is to make sure you're going to heaven and have a plan and a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. No one can, um, you have to work out your own salvation. No one can do it for you. You have to do it. Please do it. Research. Do what you need to do. And I'm going to say what I always say. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You must have the Spirit, Holy Spirit to enter the kingdom. Read the Bible. Get a Bible. Read it front to back and research. You have time to do it now, especially if you're not um, working full time um, and then you um, potentially you're online doing things uh, through work or school or whatever. You have time to do this. You need to do it. This is the most important thing right now. We're at the end. This is it. Have a plan. Um, have emergency funds on hand, uh, emergency food, emergency cash. As soon as I started, you know what I did. As soon as I was hearing pieces of this prophecy zoom, I went on my um, sites. I even posted them on there. Um, the prepper and survival uh, sites before everything is sold out and we can't get it again this happened before when the pandemic first hit couldn't get anything everything was sold out everything was back ordered for months don't wait till the last minute don't be crying um, have a plan now I even put up there um, now I have a car I don't really drive however I'm going to trade that car in and get a truck or an SUV something like that in case we have to escape quick you don't know what's going to happen don't be sitting there like a victim and crying. This is what's going to happen if you don't act and, and move now. He told us this in here again. I'm going back to it again. Here's what he said. All right. Here we go. Many have heeded the warnings to prepare. They're not my warnings. They're his. You have done well. He's telling you, yes, you have done well. Be prepared for and um, expect the unexpected. You have to be prepared. These aren't my, I'm not sitting here um, coming up with these prophecy messages. These are inspired by the Holy Spirit. He's been warning and warning and warning people for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years. This isn't something new. Before something happens, he lets you know. He tells people. He warns you. There's how many watchmen out there saying the same thing to prepare. I'm one. I'm saying it. Prepare. Have a plan. Um, what else did I want to mention? Thanking everyone um, who supports the ministry financially so we can help other people. Um, thank you everyone for the comments under the um, the videos and especially thank you everyone who translates in other languages. I do see um, people that have um, copied us on other um, in other languages out there videos which is fabulous because um, not everybody can read the translation under the videos and find them. Thank you so much for this. Um, what else? Thank you everyone for everything you send us in the mail cards and gifts. Um, did I miss anything? Um, I remember I remembered the prayers. Um, I think I covered everything. I don't want to be going off, but this is really majorly important to have a plan. God bless you all. We love all you guys. Thank you, everyone, for everything you do. Now, if I could just get up, I think I could make it. Okay. Now, it's really cute out there by the river today. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of kids out there with little, um, I want to say, sand um, buckets, like we used to have when we were kids playing. And they're down by the river. I don't know what they're picking up. It's really cute, though. There's a whole bunch of kids down there playing. It's nice to see them out there playing, not locked up in the house on these stupid games. God bless you all, and be safe. We love you guys. Come on.